Hey party people, my name is Daryl and today in this video, I'm going to show you all how to use the WooCommerce membership plugin for your WordPress website. Now the membership WooCommerce plugin does various things and it can be used to accomplish different uh, goals for your website. So for example, right here, I have this product. Now there, again, there's various ways on how you can use this plugin. So you can either use something like a membership discount where someone gets 20% off every product on your entire website. So you can achieve something like that with WooCommerce memberships, or you can restrict content. So for example, right here, if I go to something like my About Us page, if I go to this on a different browser where I'm not logged in, uh, people are gonna have to purchase a specific product in order to get access to the About Us page or purchase a membership. So for example, right here, uh, I'll go to uh, my website right here and go to the About Us page. And um, you're gonna see that it's going to not allow users to go in because they need to actually purchase the product and it's only available for members. So if you want to achieve something like that, you can do that as well. Also what you can do is you can have additional memberships that you need to have in order to obtain an additional membership. So let me explain. So for example, I have two plans here, right? The gold and the silver. Now the gold will give people 30% off my entire website. The membership will only give people a 20%. Now, if I go over here to my shop page, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and find my memberships. So right here, I'm gonna go to my product categories and go to memberships, and go to the gold membership right here. If I want to purchase the gold membership, I need to actually go ahead and purchase the silver one first. So for example, right here, I'll go to shop on a, a, a browser I'm not logged in, of course, and then I'll go here to membership and go to the gold membership. And now you can see that this product cannot be purchased because I need to purchase the other product in order to get access to this membership. So there's various ways on how you can use the membership. Also what you can do is you can restrict certain products. So basically, if you are a member, you are allowed to purchase products on the website. If you are not a member, then you cannot purchase products on the website and what you can also do is you can have it restricted to all the products or just some products so for example right here uh, if you want to restrict you know if you want to restrict a, a shirt like this you can say if you want to purchase this shirt then you need to become a member first so you can also use the plugin in that situation as well so today in this video I'm going to run you through a step by step on how you can achieve this for your website or add a um, you know a membership uh, a website or whatever you want to achieve here so uh, with that said let's just go ahead and get started with this tutorial so let's go ahead and go back to my website right here now I realize the WooCommerce memberships plugin is very expensive I think it's like two hundred dollars so if you guys want you guys can go to GPL mall you guys can buy it there uh, you only pay $15 and you get access to 190 uh, plus plugins only for WooCommerce. It is a GPL website, so it is looked down upon in the community. But then again, I use these websites back in the day, so I can relate. So I didn't have the money to spend $200 on it. But if you go to their, their search right here and you go to memberships, you can actually get access to... Uh, all their plugins for 15 bucks so you can see it has like almost 400 sales so it's just a place on where you can get it or you can go to woocommerce.com and you can buy it there but then again those plugins there are pretty expensive but if you have the money and you want to do it that is your business so once you install the plugin uh, I'll go ahead and just run through this tutorial you get your um, you get your memberships right here so you get the little the little dash right here for memberships and you can just go ahead and click on that now the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a membership plan. So you have members right here where you can manually add members and anyone that purchased the product will actually display right here as well. You can also go ahead and import and export settings if you choose to do that as well. I'm going to click on there. So yeah, you can actually go ahead and export the members as well to a different website if you ever create a new website in the future. So right here at membership plans. Now you can see right here that I have the gold plan and the silver plan. Now these both grant different things. So let me just go ahead and click on edit right here and just show you first before we create it from scratch. So right here I have the silver plan. and the silver plan you have different options. So grant access upon what? So people can actually get this plan if they purchase a specific product, if they make an account or manually assignment only. So 
only people that purchase the plan will basically get access to the membership. And then right here you have membership length. So you can have unlimited, you can have a specific length, or you can have fixed dates. Now, in order for someone to renew their membership in their in their my account section, they can renew it by themselves. So you don't even have to intervene. You don't have to uh, do anything, but they will have to renew it themselves in their my account. It is not automatic. If you do want an automatic uh, subscription, which most of you probably do, I will be having a second tutorial on the WooCommerce subscriptions plugin and that works perfect with memberships. Again, you can buy them both from this website. In fact, it's 15 bucks and you get access to like all of them. But um, here we go. So we have the membership length, grant access to, and then the slug. So this is basically the permalink in the um, in the browser. So, And then right here we have restrict content. So right here you can say, I want to restrict the content and um, this right here is not available for people until they purchase the silver plan. So. Uh, if they purchase the silver plan, then they will get access to uh, restricted content. And then you can go ahead and put any other page you want right here. It'll all display right there. You can put the time as well. So uh, when will members get access to this content? You should just put you should just put uh, immediately, guys, because um, it makes sense to do that. If someone pays for something, you want to get it right away. Right here, we have restrict products. Now, right here, you can also go ahead and restrict certain products if they have purchased that uh, membership so right here we can add a new rule and then right here I'll just put like t-shirts or something like that and uh, you know this obviously would be something that related to your niche but the products that you create with WooCommerce will be displayed right here so right here we have product and then we have the title members can view or purchase and then right here we have accessible so when will members gain access to the products and then you can put something like immediately or something like that so that's an example of how you can uh, grant access to uh, products as well. Here we have purchasing discounts. So this is also a bonus right here. So what I'm saying is um, we can do something of products or even product categories. So if someone purchases this membership, they will get a percentage discount or a dollar discount off of their entire cart. So basically saying all the products in the entire store will be discounted 20% if they purchase the silver plan. Or what you can do is saying, if you purchase the membership, only these product categories will have a percentage discount off of that or off of uh, those product categories. So I think something that would make more sense would be the products, right? Because um, getting a membership would make more sense to give them a discount instead of just product, uh, product categories. But hey, it's your store, you can do whatever you want. Here we have members area and then a members area is a portion of the, their accounts page where they can view available content, products, discounts, or memberships, etc. So right here, uh, content, products, discounts, notes, and manage will all be displayed on their account page as well. So when they go into their, their account page, they can see different um, they can see different information that's only available for members. Email content, you can go ahead and assign uh, different WooCommerce emails uh, once they get access to the email, or I'm sorry, the product, etc. So that's just a quick little overview of these settings right here. But uh, once you actually create the membership, you need to actually assign it to a product. But let's first create a membership from scratch just to give you, you know, a general idea. So this would be the first thing that you would do. So I'll just use something like beginner, beginner membership right here beginner membership right now right, right right here you have product purchase now what you can also do is if somebody purchases another product they can also gain access to this membership so let's say for instance right here uh, I'll just go ahead and put something in here like girl shirt if somebody purchases the girl shirt they will also be added as a member on our website if they purchase the girl shirt now right here you can see um, that's only if they purchase the product. So that's up to you. If you want to either do that, you can have account registration or manual assignment, etc. But this is an additional way on how they can become a member for your websites. And then right here, membership length, we can do something for like 30 days, right? 
but I'm just going to do manual assignments. I, I, I don't want to do that, but that would be a good idea because you know how you have like those, like a, like a sale or something like, Oh, if you buy this, you're automatically a, a member for, you'll get 10% off your future purchases. Oh, that's a good one. 10% off your future purchases. If you buy the girl shirts and then you're a member for 30 days or you're a member for one year, something like that. So you get the point, right? Restrict content. I'm going to go ahead and say, um, Right here we have, there's no rules right now, but uh, I'm gonna say, look, members that purchase this right here will get access to the contact us page. They will be allowed to contact me if they purchase this. Restrict products. So what products will I be, will, what products will, will I be allowed to purchase if I get this membership? Well, I'm gonna say all the products, or we can do something of product categories and then do, let's see. We'll do women's shirts or let's see, do I have any, what's a, what's a good category I have on my website, on my demo website. There we go. Women's. I knew it was right there. So uh, right here we can do only members can only, we'll do something like, okay, so, or maybe that's a little bit too strict. I'll just do, I'll do view. Yeah. The views are better. So right here we have, um, if they're a membership, if they're a member of the beginning membership, they can purchase women's products right here and they can purchase it immediately. Right here, purchasing discounts. We can give them an also uh, a discount of 12% uh, off the entire website if they become a membership of the beginning membership. Members area, this is where users are going to have their own personal information, et cetera. And then right here, we have email content, et cetera. So let's go ahead now and publish this. So I want to now publish this membership right now. So let's go ahead and publish it. All right. Now, right here, they're giving me a little warning, and that's because I've already created other memberships that grant access to all of the products. So they're basically saying, look, Daryl, you already made other plans that contradict this. So if they purchase the silver plan, they'll get access to all the products on the entire website. But I created another membership that gives access only to girls' shirt. So I do have conflicting uh, membership tiers. So when you do create your memberships, you wanna make sure that they're not conflicting and if they are, just change it. You know, it just says here, hey, just, you know, you have another membership that's also granting access to women's shirts. That's basically all they're saying. So let's go ahead and go to plus new and go to product. All right, and then right here, I'll add in the product. So beginners membership plan. And then right here, you'll put in description. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. I'll close Yoast, we don't need it. I'll add this to the memberships right here. How much is your subscription cost? Well, I'm gonna say this, this costs $300. And you can also do it on sale for $249. Oops, there we go. Taxable, no. Yeah, whatever, whatever. We, we all know that stuff, yeah, so. And then right here, you can select the product image. So this is the beginner's one, so. I'll just grab a random image here. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> so uh, let's see here. What, what would be a good membership one? There we go. There we go, summer. So there we go, summer. Hey, everyone's having a fun time in summer. And then right here, you talk about your membership. So this grants access to the contact us page and also gives you 12% off all purchases on the entire website. Ooh, that sounds like a deal to me. And then right here, you can do restrict content. So here you can do this product can be viewed and purchased by all customers. I, I want that, you know. Now, if you want this to be um, like we talked about earlier, if you want this to have a tier membership, so basically saying um, they need the gold membership in order to buy this, you would just add the rule and then you would go ahead and select gold. So this right here is basically saying if they have the gold membership, then they can buy this product. But if they don't have the gold membership, they cannot purchase this product. So that's just a one how you can have tiers of memberships. But personally, if this is a beginning, uh, a beginning one, then obviously I wouldn't want to have a tier, right? Because this is the first tier. So that's basically what this is referring to right here. And then right here, you can use a custom message and you can also do, you know, Etc. So you can just give them custom messages and that, that'd be something that you'd want to do. Grants access to what? So purchasing product grants access to, and then right here, you'll go ahead and put in the membership. So right here I'll put in 
beginner's membership right here. So purchasing product grants access to the beginning membership that we just created. And then right here, discounts. Now, the discounts right here are already applied automatically because this right here is already established. We already created that rule already. So that's basically what that's referring to. So these rules uh, cannot be edited, et cetera. So because we already created the plans, um, the discounts already being applied. Do you see that? So I'm just making sure you understand that, um, that we've already created the, the discount. So we can't change it here. If you want to change it, you'll have to go back to the membership. You'll have to edit the product or edit the membership, and then you can edit it from there, et cetera. So that's just an example, you know, that they'll get the discounts. And then once that is all set and done, just click on publish. Now you can always test your memberships as well to see if they're working because um, some of the times they might not be working. So you might want to just go ahead and just run a test run on it, see what that does, etc. So right here we have the beginner's membership plan. Here is the price. This grants access to the contact us page and also gives you 12% off purchases on the entire website. So let's go ahead now and test this out. Now, just a heads up here, um, when you make these products, you want to go ahead and put virtual product. I did leave that out, but I'm not sure if you wanna send them like a book because um, with the virtual right here, users don't have to uh, put in their shipping information and they won't be charged shipping tax, et cetera. So uh, if, usually for memberships, you probably wanna select virtual because uh, they don't have to, again, fill in any shipping information as well. Also remember that when you create your memberships and you go to the purchasing discounts, you must have active checked or else it will not work. It'll use a member, it'll use a discount from either another membership or it won't apply it. So when you, when you do create these memberships, just make sure that you need to actually go ahead and put that it's active, et cetera. So I went ahead and I changed my settings right here. So now I have my uh, my discount being applied to everything and it's a virtual product so i'm gonna go over here now and go ahead and purchase this product i'm gonna go ahead and put in my secret code here free 999 so you can see right here how there's no shipping and that's probably because you want to change it to a virtual product right here i'll apply the coupon code and i'll place the order now I'm just doing this for total purposes. I'm not telling you to, to give your product away for free, okay? But I'm just giving you an example. So now I am a new member of this website. So let's go ahead now and see what I can do here. Well, first off, can I go ahead and check out the Contact Us page? Yes, yes I can. So now I'm allowed to visit the Contact Us page. And it's really cool because all of your members will have like uh, right here we have discounts. So they can see all of the discounts they have now on all these really cool products, which is really cool. Now this right here is done with Flatsum. So by default, I don't know how it would look without Flatsum, but I've actually made a custom portal right here for users. Um, also right here we have content. And you can see here now, I now have access to the contact us page and users can view it and they can go ahead and go to that page, et cetera. So users now have the ability to see stuff. Also right here, we have notes. So you can go ahead and leave notes uh, for members. So you wanna say, hey man, good job, blah, 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 blah. And then here we have the membership where users can go ahead and they can cancel it themselves or they can go ahead and renew it once it expires. Now, again, if you do want a renewing subscription, I will be having a follow-up tutorial called WooCommerce Subscriptions. I know you have to use both and that's the biggest flaw with this, but uh, that's unfortunately how WooCommerce works. But I hope this video was helpful. I think by now uh, I've covered everything. So uh, just go ahead and you know make a membership and then you can go ahead and, and you know put whatever you want, et cetera. So it's a very easy plugin to use. And I find that if you do want to run a membership website, I feel that um, WooCommerce memberships is a very good choice. It's it's really, it's a solid plugin. I just wish they put the subscriptions with memberships. I think that's kind of cheesy, you know, what they did, but uh, unfortunately that's the best way to uh, have memberships on your website without the subscription model. So again, if you wanna learn how to make this same website, I will go ahead and leave that tutorial in the description below. I do have videos on e-commerce for Divi, Elementor, and Flatsum. So it just depends on what you want to use but I think all three page builders and themes will work just fine. So again, my name is Daryl Wilson and I will see you all in the next video guys. Take care.